watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today we're going to be doing a premium knife review. That means a knife over the $50 mark in the traditional realm. Today's candidate is the Case uh, Sow Belly. And it comes in this box here. We've got the black box with the gold lettering. WR Case and Sons Cutlery Company established 1889. XX. And the sides... And the back, again, repeats that it's made in the United States with domestic and imported materials. Established 1889. Twice tested, never busted. All right. So we have model number 71385. This is the Bose Sparks Green Kyranite Smooth Sow Belly. Pattern number TB10139SS. So we've got stainless steel blades. Born on date here is 92923, so you can see it's not even a year, or excuse me, not even a month old yet. So, brand new knife from Case. All right, so let's pull out the knife here. We've got a four and slightly over three quarter inch length closed. You can see the green Kiranite handles here. And uh, obviously, this is a synthetic material. But it's got a lot of 3D depth to it. I think it's pretty attractive in that green. It's a nice color, or a nice shade of green. Then you've got nickel silver bolsters on either end. Brass pins. And this nice shield here with the white background with the long tail C. And then the X, double X below it. Now there's some paint over the top of it, like a clear coat of paint with the sparks in it. Now if you're not familiar with that, it's just sort of like this reflective... Uh, little sparks in the paint sort of glitter basically it's got glitter on it it's not going to show up on the camera i've tried every angle and it just doesn't want to appear so you just kind of have to take my word for it but if you've had one in person you know what i'm talking about and it's just some light sparkling going on on the shield kind of neat so it kind of sets off the kiranite which is very three-dimensional you can see there's a lot of depth to that and they do a fantastic job matching on both sides. Let me see if I can get a really good look at the uh, depth of the color in this knife. It's just a really good job. Transitions are really nice across the length of the knife. No pins being proud. Transitions to the bolsters are very nice. Same can be said for this side. I do feel, you know, like the raised lettering on the shield. That's pretty much it. And everything looks good there. Centering of the blade, not fantastic. You can see that's right leaning. Now it's not rubbing or anything. Uh, but, you know, it's definitely got that rightward lean to it. On the back, we have brass liners and the stainless spring. A little bit of a gap here, you can see. Right about here. And then down here. So yeah, it's not perfect by any stretch. But it's not horrible, and I've kind of almost just come to expect it from Case. <clears throat> not going to have a perfect built knife most of the times for them. Sometimes you will. Depends on the pattern. Uh, I've not ever had a single-bladed sow belly before from them, so I didn't really know what to, my, to expect. There's no like baseline for me on that. Uh, so... I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, this is an $80 knife, and this is what you're getting. Bradford, Pennsylvania made out of the United States. And you'd wish they would, uh, you know, just eliminate the gapping, get that straightened out. But that meets their quality control standards. So this isn't some sort of defect from them. This is one that they would willingly set out the door, send out the door. That's just, that's where their, uh, their tolerances allow. So there you have it. And that's really all I got to say about it. But you got a pretty attractive knife here. And this is a pattern that I've been kind of seeking out and wanted to get a new one. I'm, I'm seeing some used ones on the market, but they're all inflated in price. And I don't want to spend the money on an older one right now. So I, uh, I kind of more or less compromised on what I would have wanted for handle material to get the pattern because I wanted to try it out. Uh, probably wouldn't have been my first choice, obviously, but this is the first one I've seen them release in some time when I actually had the funds available to pick it up. So this is what I ended up with, and I'm pretty happy with it. For synthetic material, I think it's pretty attractive. 
you know, it could be a lot more plain, you know, with like a, just a white jigging or something like that that they offer. But this, uh, you know, this has a little flair to it. And it almost gives you like an abalone feel to it. Uh, obviously, quite a bit different. This is just like little chips of plastic. But that does have like a lot of depth to it. And I think it's pretty attractive for what it is. Again, maybe not my first choice, but overall, pretty happy with it. And what do I say about this pattern? Well, I, I, everybody says, uh, you know, if you say a sow belly, what does that mean? Well, it's really just the handle shape. It's not really a pattern. It's just a shape. You have the sow belly style uh, curve to it, like a sow belly pig. That's where it gets its name. So you can have a sow belly stockman. You can have a sow belly whittler. You can have multiple blades, single blades. doesn't matter. The shape is what the sow belly represents. But this particular one is a sow belly single blade knife. And you've got the clip point blade. So basically in the stockman style, but with just a single blade. And that's almost a drop point, right? I mean, it's just a very mild clip to it. But yeah, it is a clip blade, but not one that's very uh, aggressive on its clipped portion of the blade. You get a really nice clean nail neck on there, mirror finish on the blades. The blade grind looks fantastic to me. I mean, for a case knife, I'm pretty darn happy with that. Look at the other side. That looks good as well. So no complaints about that. It feels very sharp out of the box. Very good polish on it. This side is the pile side, and it's got the pattern number here. It says USA TB10139SS. Again, the true sharp stainless steel on this blade. And some guys, you know, prefer the carbon blades, but I don't I don't really get too caught up in the in the handle or the blade material. I just buy what I can find. It's it's tough enough to find the good patterns in case without having to jump through a thousand hoops. Or spend a ton of money so I generally just don't worry too much about the blade material but I'm happy with their sharp or stainless steel I don't find there to be any problem with it and you've got the three dots at the top four at the bottom so a total of seven that makes this a 2023 blade you got the case XX logo there in the middle so yeah this was made in 2023 very good snap on the clothes and lovely open very firm that's not going anywhere feels very comfortable in the hand with no other secondary blades to concern yourself with great grip on it fantastic comfort this will just make a perfect edc knife i think seems to be you know very durable the plastic will probably hold up pretty well not going to chip it like maybe bone wood or something like that. Break the pins or something. Seems like a pretty durable knife. And even with a really firm grip, that just feels fantastic in the hand. And that's really one of the reasons why I don't understand why this particular pattern is not more popular. Because to me, it's molded to fit some a human's hand. It's just uh, shaped in a way that is enjoyable to, to hold on to. And... Uh, much the difference of the sway back pattern and one of the reasons why I'm not a huge fan of sway backs because you basically would hold it like that and that doesn't feel comfortable to me this feels comfortable so just in case you've ever concerned yourself with what a, a sway back might feel like this is quite the opposite it feels fantastic in the hand but that is why I like the sow belly and one it why it's one of my favorite patterns and this is definitely one of my favorite patterns from case very happy to have picked this up. Uh, maybe not would have been my first choice in a handle material. You know, when you spend eighty dollars, you sometimes just want to have a, you know, one you're super happy with and be done with it. But uh, no, I was probably a little impatient in my purchase of this because it probably isn't my favorite handle material. But I like this pattern enough that if I end up with multiples and I end up carrying one, beating one up or something like that, I'll be perfectly okay with that. I just really, really, really like this particular pattern. But what to say? Just uh, to me, like the perfect style of knife, single bladed, very easy to carry, very slender. This would fit in a large Rough Rider slip, no problem. 
probably could get away with a medium as well. Let's see if we can find one of them very quickly. There we go, medium slip. Yeah, that would definitely fit in there, no issue. So, nice way to protect the knife with the medium Rough Rider slip or something that's right in that uh, four and a quarter inch length total for the slip. And again, this one's three and three quarter inches, pretty much a little bit over. All right, so let's look at the blade length on this. And then I've rambled on two and three quarter inches total length to the tang, and then you've got a cutting edge right about two and a half inches. So that's going to be that's going to be UK legal, no issue there with the slip joint design. But you know, I've looked at some Rough Rider uh, single bladed lockbacks, and you know, I prefer to have a nice slip joint if that was uh, an option from them. But nope, it's not. So I sought out the case, and I'm really happy that I've got this one in my collection now. So I'll probably be looking to buy a few more of these particular patterns with the single blade. But that's going to do it for my review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. hope it was useful. Make sure you hit that like button. I really want to try to get the likes over 200 on this particular video. If we can do that, that will mean uh, a really good response and probably do a lot for the algorithm. But you know, we have enough views to get those 200 likes. So it's just a matter of you guys taking one second of your time hitting that like button and seeing where we can get. So let's try to get this to 200 likes. But thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.